Hello, YouTube. It's your girl Keisha and Andre, and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. How's everyone doing? Here go my cat. Rrr, cat, 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 cat. <laughs> he purring. Let's see if. <laughs> yeah, he liked to curl up on me and, um, and go to sleep, pretty much. So, uh, Jamia, Faith, and the baby is dropping Nene off at the airport. Nene going home to Pennsylvania. And she come back the, on the Faith birthday, actually. She come back that day. So, she come back on December 26th. Her flight pulls out at 5 p.m. today. So, they're headed to the airport. Y'all, I was so late to the Christmas party. Nene had to go to the DMV. Um, she wanted to get her license switched over to Pennsylvania today. Um, the day that she leave just so happened. But she wanted to get her license switched over to um, Florida. So she went to the DMV. And, of course, you know, with, um, with uh, all the restrictions, um, she wound up waiting for like two hours. Now, she said she didn't leave the radio on in the car, but I don't know. And um, so the battery wound up dying. And she said she asked a few people if they had, like, jumper cables. And they said, no. I'm like, we're the nice people. Usually, you know, down here people will see you in distress and they'll just offer to help. But um, everybody was saying that they didn't have, um, that they didn't have any um, jumper cables. So um, she wound up, well, my kids have triple A. So she wound up, my son was in school. She wound up calling Aleem and... They was getting triple A to come out there, but of course you know they don't service the person if they're not present. So um, I think Nene called to see how long they was going to take, and um, and in the midst of the conversation, she told them that you know she wasn't the choir holder for triple A. So once the truck got there, the man said that he wasn't going to be able to service her. But um, thank God for good dads. Their dad, the kids dad, came out and um, jumped the car. And and then I made it to the employee. No, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. The employee luncheon was from twelve to two. I got there at like one thirty-five. I'ma say everything was over. I missed the food. I was hungry. Only thing that was out was hot chocolate and the pastries. I was like, oh my god. But I was able to. I still got um, a gift card to this place. I've never been here. The Texas Roll House. I've never been here, so it's uh, $25 on this card. And, um, yeah, I was looking up their menu to uh, see what they had. I haven't had a good steak in a long time. Like, just a good, thick, juicy steak. I haven't had one in a long time. Oh, and look what came today. Look what came today. My Crooklyn hat. When I tell y'all I ordered this hat three months ago, I ordered this hat three months ago. I'm like, come on, Spike. Like, for real. I have watched, um, I'm a fan of all Spike Lee movies anyway. But, uh, I have watched the Netflix series, She's Gotta Have It. And, uh, y'all, if anybody watched it, you know, Mars had represented and wore these caps, like, all through the movie. So, I was like, I want to order one. So, I ordered one. It was only, like, $15, I believe. But then I emailed the company. I'm like, look, I ordered that that hat like almost three months ago and it still hasn't come no i said i ordered the hat over, over two months ago now i'm gonna tell you why their customer service is messed up i said a hat over two months ago a is singular okay that means one um two months ago so whoever somebody contacted me and said um it wasn't two hats, it was one. I said, you know what? I'm not even going to ream them out until I get my hat. They said that they would uh, reship it or some mess like that. Because they never sent it out. So, um, yeah, so that's why they messing up orders. The person can't even comprehend a basic uh, email. A hat two months ago. I didn't say I ordered two hats, but I was kind of offended by that. Because I'm like, ain't nobody trying to get no free hat from you. Like, come on, 40 acres and a mule. Come on, Spike. Like, I'm, I'm supporting, but you got to get a better customer service over there, seriously. 
And I said once I get my hat, which like I said, it came today that I was going to email them and let them know I got the hat. And by the way, no one ever said I ordered two hats. I said a hat over two months ago. But, um, but yeah, I'm excited my hat came. I'll get a, something cute to go with it. I don't know. I don't know. This cat is sitting here. So this is the dress I wore. I'm not that up. Y'all, I still could not find, I don't know where I took my Spanx off at. So I had this old girdle. Oh my God, I had this old girdle that I had um, probably for like four years. I want to say I probably had that girdle for four years and I didn't grew, okay? I am a woman now. And um, when I tell y'all, it took me about 20 minutes to squeeze all of, all of this into that girdle. 20 minutes and two intermissions. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I had to bring it out to the couch with it. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to tell y'all, but I'm telling y'all, I cut it off of me when I got home. I cut my body out of it. I said, I'm not, I was not going through all of that to get it off of me after I went through all of that to put it on. I had already decided once I got that thing on, I said, you know what? I am not trying to get my body out of this, so I'm cutting it off. So that's what I did. I cut it off. I got to order another Spanx because I got a feeling, like I said, that I left it at Jamia house. And she's saying she don't see it or it's not there. So, I'll have to muster up another $60, $65. But I really like the Spanx because, like, with this girdle, like, when I looked in the mirror, it didn't, like, push my bum up. It didn't push my booty up or nothing. It didn't shape me out. It just, you know, kept everything from jiggling. But, yeah, so, so, yeah. So, I'm doing my Vlogmas Day 17 early from Z Couch. From the couch. It's school buses still out here. I hate that when kids be in school all freaking day. All day long. But yeah. Just chilling. Y'all probably hear my son. He in his room. Talk about if I could do it, you could do it. <laughs> He's out most. But yeah. All we got. I don't know what's been going on with me. Excuse me again. I only got two hours of sleep because, like I said, the luncheon was at 12. And so I set my alarm for 11. But then, of course, I have the children to look after. So I can't just pass out on them. And, um, I can, honestly, I can go to sleep on Bella because Bella is a calm child. She'll lay next to you or sit right next to you with her tablet and she good to go. Long as she got some juice um she good to go she'll wake you up if she gotta go to the bathroom because for some reason she stopped going to the bathroom by herself she she want me to walk her all the time but yeah oh excuse me i'm gonna stop yawning y'all but i'm gonna pass the heck out i'm all friday saturday and sunday and at that point i will be able to like respond to my comments and stuff like that but i just been it's just it's been a lot it's been a lot lot man all over the internet is that daggone jamal bryant it, he is something else man what did this show say i'm an african angel he wore that because his excuse was um that he was his he was returning from africa you know what's funny is a lot of a lot of pastors a lot of american churches wind up linking up with um, churches in Africa. My stepdad, um, my stepdad was supposed to go to Africa with his church. Yeah, that that's just funny, but yeah, I was just like, this guy again. I mean, I'm starting to appreciate T.D. Jakes more because he never in the middle of something. That's how you know that man is, is truly anointed because he never in the middle of no controversy. And if he is, I don't recall it. Maybe that his daughter got pregnant at a young age. If I'm, you know, digging through my brain, digging through the trash in my brain, the trash bin in my brain. But um, that's when you know somebody anointing when they not into all of that mess. Like this man is just always, um, Jamal Bryant is just always in the, in the middle of something. He really is. And he just pretty much admitted to him, like, being a womanizer. Like, you just gave us way more dirt. Like, are you serious? Like, come on, man. Don't claim your children to be, um, uh, don't claim your children to be, 
uh, daddy's girls if they're not daddy's girls. Speaking of that, I remember um, when Obama, before he was like running for office and they was gearing him up to run for office, he came on the Oprah Winfrey show. Or maybe this was in his early camp, like early on in his campaign. But they came on to the Oprah Winfrey show. And uh, I recall Michelle Obama saying that, um, you know, sometimes she feel like a single mom because Barack is never there and that he didn't even know his daughter's best friend name. Now, that sent off a flag in my head. Like, how absent from your house are you that you don't know your child's best friend name? Like, seriously. Judging. Yes, I'm judging. You know, yes, I'm judging because how, how far, uh, how detached are you from your family? I mean, especially girls, girls and their best friends, they, it's, it's like an everyday thing. I lean with his best friends, it used to be like a weekend thing, but um, the older they get, the older my son get, it's, it's more of a, um, it's becoming more of an everyday thing. Even though I haven't seen Jose today, I don't know if I seen him yesterday either. But with, with girls, the girls is at the house. Them girls link up after school. Girls link up they on the phone. Girls link up on the weekends. Girls link up to go skate into the movies. I'm like, how don't you know your daughter's best friend name? That's why I never took him serious if, if you know, um, the few times that he spoke on black families. Because it's like, come on, um, you're not doing any better out here. You know, you're not doing any better. That woman says she feels, she sometimes feel like a single mom. Now, I ain't never felt that way. I've never felt like a single mother, ever, ever, okay? And thank you, God, for that. Thank you, God, for that. I just called Ali earlier and was like, thank you, because he came out and rescued us from, from the, um, with the car situation earlier. Never have I ever. I remember having a conversation with a woman, and um, people often question how can I work night shift you know when I'm at work that's like one of the commonly things girl I don't know how you do it or you know but I've always been nocturnal since I was a little girl um but I was helping the lady move rooms like um she was switching rooms and look it, it don't be nobody there at night and depending on if you if you if you sweet to me I'll give you honey back you know so I went up to help the lady move and um she was like I don't know how you do night shift and like I always I explain it like this being on night shift is the closest I can come to being a stay-at-home mother to me that is the closest thing to being a stay-at-home mother because you're home all flipping day Okay, you can send your kids out to school, you can receive them from school, you can feed them breakfast, you, you can feed them dinner, and you can tuck them in the bed, and you can also wake them up. So to me, I've been working night shift for a very long time, and that's the reason why. I don't have to worry about calling out so that I can be present for a field trip with my children. I'm automatically available, you know, so... Um, so, yeah, that's what I said. Um, and she said, oh, yes, I know it's it's hard being a single mom. I said, well, I'm not a single mother. I'm not a single mother. You know, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of it because you should be very selective of who you lay down with. Um, both of my kids was wanted. Both, both of my children. I wanted both of them. I tried for Eileen for three years. I was trying to have a millennial baby. I wanted a millennium baby. I wanted the year 2000 baby because they made it like the year 2000 was so special. and um, But it was. It was, it was special. And so we was trying, trying, trying. That boy ain't come till 2003. That boy ain't get born till 2003. But he was wanted. And so was my daughter. Um, I didn't have to try that hard to, um, to conceive Jamia as hard as I had to try to conceive Eileen. But um, both of my babies was created out, created out of love. Both of them was created out of love. Them booty booty call babies is mean in the world. I be like, them booty call babies, they be the mean babies. They be the ones that when you go over your friend's house, they never happy with nothing. That's because no love was in their making, in the making of them. It was no love from, from conception, you know. So I always say that, and it's something I've noticed throughout life is that booty call babies are the mean 
spirited, the ones that like, you know, pretty much don't give compliments to another person. They just be they just be mean. <laughs> That's something I noticed. <laughs> What's my cat doing? He's sweet. I like these stripes. That's on the top of his head. But um but yeah, I guess that's enough rambling. Enough chitty chat. I can I do like this dress. The girl that was in the photo, I got this from Amazon. Did I say that already? But um the girl that was in the photo photo, uh she had body yadi 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 yadi. But I knew I could make this thing work. I really like this dress. This is going to be another thing for my archives. I got these two black dresses that I usually use for, like, everything. These two black dresses, but I can't wait. So, um, the DKNY one, that's just, that's a done dilly. And I really like that one. That one is like a, a loose turtleneck with pleats at the bottom real cute and it fit my body type real well and then I got one that like got ruching um in it and those are like my two go-to dresses when I have have events but yeah this girl is gonna get some sleep Bella is knocked out y'all Bella is is gone Bella passed out in the car <laughs> she passed out in the car on our way back from the employee party but um but yeah Thank you for watching my video. I wish you all love, peace, and prosperity. Have a, a great rest of your day.